Yeah, now it is. Alright, happy Valentine's Day. It's a Grinder version exclusive. Happy Valentine's Day. Sean the Grinder. Caveman Joe. We got another malt liquor review for you. Guess what we have this time? Something very rare that we can't find normally. If you can find this in a 4D, snatch it up because it's even more rare than in a 24. And it'll probably taste better. But. Wait, old, is that. Old English, high gravity. Wait, is that even right? I might get it. I don't know whether I'm flipping this around right, but hopefully you guys will be able to tell whether I'm an idiot or not. But, Old English, HG800, 8% alcohol by volume. Now, I'm sure you've all had normal Old English, but that's only, like, what is it, 3 to 5% alcohol? I think I it's 5 or 6, I'm not sure. Probably closer to 5. 5.6, 5. I think so. I think that's I'm used to Steel Reserve, which has the 8.0, but man... Whenever I really want something smooth, I go for an Old English. Old English is the go-to malt liquor. It really is. It's the classic. It's got a full nine on the... On the street cred scale. Yeah. Nine! We'll link that to below. But, um, I guess it's time for us to crack this bad boy open and tell you what we feel. Joseph, hold the camera. Since we're looking so classy today, we thought we'd actually pour this bad boy out. A couple glasses. It's got the pint size. Oh, that looks beautiful, Sean. It smells delicious. Very foamy. Very foamy. Nice golden hue to it. Should I be saying something now? I don't know. People want to hear my gibberish. But... How that smell to you, Sean? It kind of smells like if you mix Steel Reserve and Old English. Yeah, I... Honestly, it's not that off-putting. I, I, I expected a lot worse from this. Um... Well, Joseph, I poured your stupid, so you get all the fun. Yeah, Sean's an idiot, so... I hope you know that. Alright, since you're such an idiot, hold the camera. Oh, well, let's just uh, get a nice look at these two ales. It's honestly a really beautiful golden color. You know, um, I I'd say it's similar to like a Budweiser. Yeah, or Steel Reserve. Uh, Steel I, Reserve, or Old English Classic. Yeah, similar to that. All right. Well. Hmm. <sighs> Ooh. Fucking okay, nice, Sean. Rubbing alcohol. I mostly just got all foam in that. I'm sorry, it tastes like rubbing alcohol and hops. I, I would not know that, but Sean poured my beer stupid. I hate to say this, but it actually tastes worse than Steel Reserve. It's pretty bad. Well, I don't know. I'd have to put this in between Steel Reserve and Hurricane. Hurricane's probably the worst. Hurricane's a lot worse, but I'd much rather have a Steel Reserve. So it's right... Right in the middle. Well, that's it for this. Uh, if you're watching this early enough, throw us a dollar or two if you like this video with our Kickstarter down below. Or maybe you got linked to it from the Kickstarter. Just, you know, give us some money so we can get drunker later, you know? And uh, after we finish these, I'm sure there's a lot more stupid videos to come out after this about not drinking. I might actually, you know, edit something this time. I mean, if you're going to give me money, fuck all edit all the videos you want. Alright. <clears throat> Get drunk. Drunker quicker.